All right, so uh, this is a bit of an unusual review. This is the uh, Crestone uh, hammock compatible sleeping bag uh, from Hike and Bike. Um, so what they've done here is they've created something a little bit different. They've created a, a sleeping bag that you can use as a sleeping bag on the ground uh, or with a, a sleeping pad. But what they've also done is put um, small holes that you can just uh, tie up and make tight so that you can thread a hammock right the way through it so that you can use it when you're sleeping in a hammock like I've set up here um, so you've got both options so what you kind of get is the best of both worlds for those of you that quite like to sleep with hammocks you know that staying warm can be a bit difficult especially underneath with wind blowing uh, underneath so what we have to kind of do is hang a, a a, a down quilt beneath us and then have a, another sleeping quilt on top to keep us warm on top as well. What this does is does away with faffing around necessarily with two by allowing you to thread this straight the way through. So you've got holes on both ends to run through from the hood end and from the foot end if you want to use it on a hammock but if you don't you just keep them up tight seal those up completely with the cords and just use it like a normal sleeping bag which is super super cool. So what this does is, for someone like me who might be out on a, a multi-day adventure where I need to keep weight really low, but I also might just be out on an overnighter, I've got the options for both, um, which I think is super useful because sometimes you don't know what the terrain's going to be like where you might end up sleeping. And I think if you're stealth camping as well, it's particularly useful um, to just give you a few more options. From the sleeping bag's point of view itself, it's got um, your standard, what you would expect, a kind of very decent quality nylon exterior with a uh, water repellent coating on it so that if you get dew in the morning or a little bit of rainfall it will be pretty resistant to that. The material is also quite breathable so if you sweat during the night it's naturally being wicked away from your body to the outside which is useful. It's this, uh, the Crestone has a 650 duck down, uh, not duck, it's a 650 down fill. Um, that's good well below freezing particularly if you're going to be using a uh, wearing clothes and underneath as well it didn't get below zero last night and this is more than adequate for for that kind of temperatures um, what I've also noticed which you can overlook if you don't realize it but the the top the filling along the top is the 650 down they've actually got a thing called cluster loft as the filling underneath which is synthetic so again they're giving you the best of both worlds because synthetic can give you almost the same percentage of warmth but it's much 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 lighter and it's less resistant to being squished down quite so much and it's a better in my opinion it's a better insulation against the ground when you're sleeping on it and compressing it and crushing it what i find is with duck down or down it's fantastic but if you're sleeping on the ground with it there's a tendency for it to get squished which is why a lot of people prefer to use a quilt and rely on the pad itself to keep them insulated. Sorry if this bounces around a bit, but it's important to just realize how useful this is for both. Um, another thing I really like, reminds me of the old uh, British Army sleeping bags. They've got a really nice big pouch on either side inside. Um, you could argue it's to put your hands, but uh, and in the British Army bags, I think it's to keep your gun warm. But um, it's actually quite useful for keeping like your electronics warm overnight, my phone's on charge, I often have a torch on charge. Um, so I like having little pouches like that. I also like having my contact lenses nice and close so that when I wake up I know exactly where they are so I can see again properly. So it's nice to have those little baffle pockets inside, it's a nice touch. The zip is a good quality zip that doesn't get caught. It's set up in such a way that it doesn't get caught on the material as you zip and unzip it, which is also really good. Uh, it packs up reasonably small. It doesn't pack up the smallest uh, sleeping bag ever, but it, uh, and it isn't the lightest one I've ever had, but it's a really good all round uh, sleeping bag. So what they've also done with this is, I'd say it's about three or four inches wider across the widest chest part compared to uh, a normal sleeping bag and that gives you that extra width that you need when you're sleeping in a hammock um, so I actually have a tendency to sleep on my side in a hammock slightly diagonally and that means I get the kind of straightest sleep so this kind of sleeping bag set up with more width gives me the room to be able to do that more comfortably whereas most sleeping bags that aren't designed for hammocks are, are a little bit really too narrow uh, for a sleeping bag uh, for a hammock so that's also a really nice touch 
Um, other than that, comes in a nice compression stuff sack. Comes in various sizes, various colours. Obviously, I've opted for the rather stealthy, don't draw attention to yourself, black. But other colours are there. I like that there's multiple length options as well uh, and size options depending on what you want. Um, but for the price, I am very hard to find anything that comes close on price for this. Uh, this is from memory, so don't quote me, but I seem to remember it's only around the $200 mark. So for me to have a product that I can use if I'm using a hammock or I can roll out a sleeping mat and have the option to use that instead uh, is very, very appealing because it, it just it means I'm going to be using this product more often than individual versions of both, if that makes any sense. So there you go. Uh, that's a quick look at the... Um, the Hike and Bike Crestone, uh, they call it a hammock compatible sleeping bag and that is exactly what it is. Um, I'd argue that for the price, you'd be hard pushed to find something that, that's this uh, variable, that's this usable in so many different ways uh, for that kind of price, for this kind of quality. Uh, if you liked the video and found it useful, please like and subscribe, it massively helps out. Um, and I'll put a link uh, in the video below to the website where I'll do a full written review uh, and give you a link to the lowest US price. Uh, there you go.